Hey guys, it's Ornlu. So I've been casting a fair amount of deathmatch recently uh, on my stream, and there you start in the post-imperial age, and we notice something a little bit odd in regards to the technologies that you have researched when you theoretically have everything researched at the start of the game. So let's see if we can figure this out together. So here we're just going to start in the post-imperial age, random map um, on coastal, it doesn't really matter, and let's pick a sieve like, I don't know, Britain's and have our opponents be a civ like, I don't know, Franks. We launch into the game, and we expect everything to be researched, right? Because that's how post-imperial age works. However, if we go ahead and resign immediately, we go to our technologies, and we see 97% of techs researched? Huh? Now, we can jump over to capture age, and see if we can verify that, and... Huh, well, that does check out the 83 techs for Franks, 94 Britons, and we're both missing three techs. So what's going on here? What is wrong with this post imp start? Why don't we have everything researched? So let's see if we can go ahead and figure out what exactly these missing techs are and why they're missing. Now, I can tell you guys right now that if we were to, you know, repeat this uh, same process, same settings uh, with every single civilization, we will have every single civ missing the, you know, theoretically the same three techs with a few exceptions. And those civs that are different are the Berbers, the Burgundians, the Saracens, the Sicilians, and the Slavs. So what's going on with these civs, and perhaps what they are doing different can help us sort of parse out what exactly is missing for all of the other civs. So I'm going to start first with Burgundians, and what we can see is that we are actually missing four techs with this civilization. That is going to be the three techs of most civs, plus one more, and that is of course going to be Flemish Revolution. It's a tech that doesn't really make sense if you start the game with it researched, so you can see here that you are able to research it. And, oh look at this, Spies is going to be another tech, and that is going to be one of the three that is uh, missing for all the civs. But if we research Flemish Revolution, we can flip back over to Capture Age and see that we are now missing three techs. So that should give us at least a bit of an idea of where to start. Next, we're going to be looking at the Sicilians. And if the Burgundians were missing Flemish Revolution, I think it would make a lot of sense then if Sicilians were missing the First Crusade upgrade, as it is, you know, a similar effect of spawning a bunch of units for free. And indeed, that is exactly what we see right here. Sicilians have their four missing techs right here, 84 out of 88. And researching First Crusade will give us our three techs missing, as you can see right here. Okay, well, those made a lot of sense, but what about Saracens and Slavs? They don't have any one-time spawn effect unique technologies, so let's see what's going on with them. So, as we can see here in Capture Age, we have Slavs and Saracens, and they are both missing four technologies as well. Now, what's going on over here? If you look here at all of the buildings which Saracens have that can research anything, we can see that, well, there isn't anything to research except spies. So, what's even going on right here? Now, I can't say this for certain, but we have to remember that the Saracens and the Slavs both had their uh, Castle Age unique text changed recently. Well, Saracens, they used to have a Madrasa, which uh, had their monks return a third of their gold cost when they were uh, killed. That tech was really useless, so it was replaced by Counterweights. And Slavs had a similar situation where they had uh, Orthodoxy uh, replaced by Datinats. Now, my guess is that both of those technologies are still in the game for the sieve, but are not researchable. Because these are the only two sieves uh, that have four missing texts that aren't really explained by something like Flemish Revolution or First Crusade. And they're also the only two sieves to have their uh, unique texts changed recently. So, those sieves are at least, in my mind, pretty figured out. Alrighty, now for our last standout sieve, we have the Berbers. And they are in a bit of an interesting position. You can see here that they are only missing two technologies, whereas every other sieve is missing three. Okay, then what's going on? 
Credit to uh, my mod folder of Doom for first noticing this, but it's actually the Elite Genitor upgrade. And we can actually verify this, one, because Berbers have one more tech research than most civs, but if we actually go to a team game setting, we can actually see that all of our allies, you know, blue, red, green, and yellow are all on a team, and we can see that we're all missing two technologies, whereas the other team is all missing three technologies, because I picked, you know, most of the civs that are civs that are representative of the vast majority, which only miss three techs in post imp starts. So then a the question becomes, well, why Elite Genitor? So as you can see, Berbers, their team bonus reads, Genitor available in the archery range starting in the Castle Age. And that's true. That is a, you know, correct team bonus. However, what it doesn't say is that it also enables Elite Genitor to be uh, researched. And that, for the purposes of post-imp starts, does count as a technology that you can research, and that technology is only available to Berbers and their allies as something that you can research. Because every civ, like any time that you can get regular genitors, you can also get elite genitors. And no other unit line is like this. You know, you have Imperial Skirmishers for Vietnamese. It's just one upgrade, and apparently that doesn't count um, as like a distinct thing for uh, team bonuses. And the same, you know, can go for a Condottieri with Italians, because those don't require any upgrades. And so we're really in this situation exclusively with the Genitor, where it's a team unique unit, but it also requires an upgrade. So that gives us a little bit more insight as to what's going on and why one of the missing technologies for most of the civs is going to be Elite Genitor. Now, as for the other missing technologies, what exactly are they? Because theoretically, we have Elite Genitor and two other technologies that all of these civs are missing. Well, one of these is going to be Spies. So as you can see here, we have our Spies upgrade that we can research despite our post-Imperial Age start. And after we research it, we should be down to one technology missing. And that is exactly what we see right here. Another way to verify that it is going to be spies, that is one of these texts, is actually to look to a non-random match setting, or random map setting. So as I mentioned, this has started with uh, us discovering this thing in deathmatch. So if we go to deathmatch and go to our normal settings, we will actually find that there are only two texts missing for each player. And that's because in deathmatch, you can't research spies. As you can see here, we cannot research spies. And that's because in Deathmatch, you know, if you just get a castle down, you can almost always research spies uh, every game. And then that's kind of, you know, ruining the point of having like an explored map, but not being able to see what your opponent is doing. So if we can be confident that one of the texts missing is spies, one of the texts missing is elite genitor, then what's the last missing tech? And this is where the really interesting question comes from, because this last missing tech is something that every single civilization misses in a post-Imperial Age start. So it's not a unique tech. It's not a unique unit. It has to be something that's universal, because every single civilization is going to be missing this. Now, as far as my research goes, first thing I checked is, is it the treason technology, counting as a separate tech, because in regicide games, uh, you get treason instead of spies, and this is, um, it, it shows you where the king is. Uh, it's 400 gold. So here we are on Regicide, you can see our little king running, running around. And here it is, treason, 400 gold, and it is even says only available in a Regicide game. However, if we go to Capture Age, you can see that we're still missing two technologies. One of those is Elite Genitor, and the other one is going to be the Mystery Tech because you can't research spies, and I guess for some reason it doesn't count as its own unique tech. So you can see here, there are two technologies missing for each of us. However, if I go ahead and I research treason, you can see here, research treason, I can see where the enemy king is. But if we jump back over to capture age, we're still missing two techs. So I guess treason just doesn't count as its own technology as far as the game goes. And this isn't just a capture age thing. We can verify this by looking in the uh, post-game statistics as well. 82 techs researched in 89, and we're still looking at 98%. So what's going on here? So I've done some digging, and I saw in my research that, okay, the tech is not treason, it is not any unique tech or unique unit because it applies to every single civilization. 
It's not a hidden team game tech because uh, it doesn't change between 1v1s and team games. And it's not based on any game mode either because I went through all of the game modes. And again, we're still looking at minus three in uh, game modes where you have spies and minus two in game modes where you do not have spies. So what is going on with this last tech? Now, I don't know for sure, but let's go back to the civilizations that had unique, uh, you know, differences in missing techs. Saracens and Slavs both are missing a tech that they just don't have access to anymore. Now, are there any technologies in Age of Empires that we're applying to every civilization that we just don't have access to anymore? Yes, there are three. One of these techs is tracking, which if you remember from the uh, old version of the game, uh, was available for every civilization and it increased your um, infantry line of sight by two. Now in DE, it is now available to every civilization upon reaching the feudal age. Another one is now cartography, was available to every civilization before, and uh, it would be at the market, and you could uh, use it to uh, see the same line of sight as your allies. Now, you just get it whenever you complete a market, and then every civilization can get the technology for free. There are other techs that were removed, uh, but they weren't necessarily available to all civs, like, say, elite or sorry, regular cannon galleon, hand cannoneer, and bombard cannon all used to be their own techs, but they were not available to every civilization. So, what is the one tech that was available to every single civilization, but now is simply inaccessible to every civilization? And that one tech is hunting dogs. If you don't remember hunting dogs, it was introduced in the Forgotten, but was then taken away later on. And it made your hunters and fishermen work 25% uh, faster. It was considered to be overpowered, so they just removed it from the game completely. Um, oh, actually, hey, I didn't even notice this. Uh, it's in the, the trivia. Yeah, it's the only technology that was available to every civilization, and then it was taken away from every civilization with no free effect uh, at all. Now, if you're wondering, well, okay, if hunting dogs was removed for all civilizations, then is it still in the game? You bet it is. If we go to the genie editor, we go to our technologies, we can look up hunting dogs, and here it is. It's still in the game, listed as a technology. For some reason, it has the same writing as atonement, which is kind of odd. But yeah, hunting dogs is still in, and because of that, I'm pretty sure hunting dogs is the missing tech. So there we have it, guys. The three missing techs for most civilizations are spies, except in, you know, game modes where spies doesn't uh, affect, or there is no spies. It's elite genitor, except for Berbers and Berber allies. And then it's hunting dogs for every civilization. Anyway, I hope you guys thought that was fun. Uh, it was honestly kind of interesting to dive into it and see exactly what techs were missing and where. But let me know what you guys think of uh, their missing techs in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one.